Hey y'all, it's Joseph Lippert, and I've gotten a lot of questions asking, how does your intake work? Can I have pictures of your intake? So today I'm gonna do a quick explanation of how my intake works, all the tips and tricks you need to know to build a successful intake. Now, when you see a VEX high stakes intake, it's gonna be made up of two different pieces. The first part of the intake, as you might guess, is this roller right here. That's what grabs the ring, that's what puts it up into your conveyor. Now, the second part of the intake is actually down here. You can see that kind of knife edge down there. That's what picks the ring up off the floor. That's what grabs it off the floor and puts it into the conveyor. So you can see as the ring goes in the intake, then the ring kind of ramps up there and goes up into that intake. That's how it picks it up off the ground. That is the second part of the intake. So with these two parts of your intake, you should be able to tune it to work well on any robot and just pick up the rings just like that. If you're looking at this intake and you're thinking, hey, this is something that I might want to build, go ahead and click that link in the description below and I'll send you some pictures, all the info on that, and you can email me with any questions you have about your intake. So click that link in the description and let me show you how mine works. Now, the first thing you're going to want to know when you're building an intake is to use these things called flex wheels. And these flex wheels are really good because they are really grippy on the ring and they also are spinning rollers. And a spinning roller is always better than a claw because of this thing called touch it, own it. See, here's the thing about touch it, own it. When you go into a game piece with a claw, you have to like go into it and then grab it with a claw. You have to wait till you're there and then grab it. That is not touch it, own it. You have to go up to it, touch it, then grab it, then you own it. The thing with touch it, own it and rolly grabbers is that when you go into the game piece with a rolly grabber, and a touch it own it mechanism, which is basically just a spinning roller, then as soon as you touch the ring, it's in your robot, it is yours, no one else can take it. That's why rolly grabbers are so much better than claws. Now the second thing you're gonna wanna do for your intake this year is do what's called a floating intake. Let me show you. See, some intakes are stuck here in this one position, but a floating intake can float up and down like this a little bit. That makes it so that way when you grab the ring, the wheels will contact the ring and float up a little bit above it so that way the wheels are always contacting the ring no matter what angle it's at. You can see it's kind of going up and down as it intakes the ring. That's the advantage to a floating intake. It's always contacting the ring like that. So definitely build a floating intake. It's gonna help your intake just be a lot better. Now the third thing you're gonna wanna know about building an intake is that your intake isn't gonna work the same forever. See, flex wheels get dirty, they get dusty, and it's very important that you need to clean them in order to keep your intake working properly. All you're gonna do is use some isopropyl alcohol and pour it on a towel or a rag or something. And then you're just going to spin your intake and rub your rubbing alcohol on your towel onto these flex wheels. And that'll clean them off super well. It'll make your ring grab so much better. So there you go. There's some tips and tricks that you need to know for building intake for Vex High Stakes. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click that link in the description, hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.